everyone, so today's video is going to be a Sephora haul and I did get like most of this from Sephora but I did go to like a couple of little pharmacies and stuff just to see what else was kind of out there really. Um, it wasn't a complete like epic fail but um, I did get some like quarterly bits which I know you can get here but they are slightly cheaper over there so if I first start off with the Sephora bits. So first off, <laughs> not very exciting, like a little, what are these called? Bath lily, shower lily things. I like the colour and I also wanted something for when I was over there because I forgot to put one in my luggage and I think it was like one euro fifty so it didn't really break the bank. I also picked up one of the Sephora Lingzy masks i think they're called this is for anti-aging and smoothing it just comes in like a little disc like this and then with the mask actually inside this is like a sheet mask um and i love any kind of sheet masks really and i thought oh i'll pick up one of the sephora ones to give a go they do have loads and loads of different ones um but i just like the orange so i thought I'll just pick that one. Next up, I picked up the Sephora cleansing oil. I've used this before. I bought one when I was in New York. I used it all up. I absolutely loved it. And it's a lot cheaper alternative to the Shuimura cleansing oil, which is also really good, but also really expensive. So yeah, picked up one of those. To go with the shower lily, I picked up some of these really cute little pods from um sephora i got blueberry manoy and lagoon and these are all little body washes but i just love the idea i just think that's so cute because then you don't have to take all your shower you know stuff with you i know they have them in the hotels and stuff but i think it's just nice to like have your own and they're so cute and dinky so i couldn't resist those i also picked up one of the green tea sleeping masks from Sephora. These absorb excess sebum and for clean, smooth and matte skin. To be honest with you, I haven't even, I haven't used it yet, but it's just like a little like gel pod thing. Whether these gel pods are like making some kind of, you know, resurgence or something. I remember like pods and stuff being in the 90s, but um, but all the makeup stuff I think is just because it's so convenient. Ah, so basically you just apply a fine layer, leave it on, rub it in, leave it on overnight and if there's any excess like left over, wash it in the morning. So that's quite a cute little, yeah, I'm quite interested to see whether that like works or just, yeah, I thought it was cute. Again, can't resist a pod, so got one of those. For makeup bits, I got the outrageous curl mascara from sephora this is their own brand i asked jane from british beauty blogger um you know what i should pick up from sephora and because there's so much stuff you can already get here apart from like the sephora own brand bits um she said pick up a mascara so i picked up a brand new one which is the outrageous curl dramatic volume and curve mascara I love it because the wand is so tiny so it reminds me a bit of uh, the Chanel mascara that's got like a kind of smaller smaller wand um, and it's also small so for bottom lashes a bit like the Clinique bottom lash mascara I think this will be brilliant I haven't used it yet but I did find out that if you bought this you also got one of the um, Rouge Infusion Neutral samples. So this is in Peony, which is just a really pretty, like rosy blush. Uh, I haven't used this yet, but it is like the perfect handbag size. I'm so dinky. Another lip product I bought was the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade 03 made in Italy and that is like the most gorgeous deep deep pink it looks brighter on camera than 
like it actually is. So I'd heard so much about these and rather than pick up the red which everyone was talking about, I thought I'll go with something that I'm more likely to wear and this is definitely the shade. In fact, um, one of the ladies I went with, she actually bought the exact same one and I didn't realise she'd bought it until we'd both got out of the shop. And when I was in New York, oh, three, two, two years ago, I picked up one of the blue um, like liquid liners and they're so pigmented, they last such a long time and you get like a really opaque finish with them as well. You don't, they're not like wishy-washy in any way. So I picked up a purple um, in the shade Eccentric Diva, which <laughs> my boyfriend would probably say I was. Um, but it's just the prettiest purple. It's like on the brightest shade rather than like a the the colour of my top. I'd probably say more like of a like a deep lavender, but um I love these, they last so long and I don't think you can go wrong with a bit of coloured liquid liner. It doesn't look too over the top, whereas I think sometimes shadows and stuff can people can be a bit daunted by. So um Oh, and it's waterproof, so even better. That's all I got from Sephora. So now I'll show you the bits I got from the various pharmacies. The Cordony Beauty Elixir. Now I've got one of these already and I absolutely love it. But when I was over there, it was so hot and sticky and ugh, I just needed something to like freshen up. And one of the ladies I was with, every time I sprayed this on, she had a bit of a spray as well. And I ended up using like that much just in the weekend I was there. It's just so lovely. It's got like orange, rosemary, mint, all the essential oils, all mixed up in a lovely little bottle and you just spray on like as and when. Oh, just, it's so calming as well. It's a bit like um rescue remedy. Well, that's what I think it's like anyway. Um, the only downside is the glass bottle. I mean, it looks really pretty, but when you're actually like traveling around with it it's quite like a clunky thing to have even though this is the smaller size but it was a good four or five pounds cheaper in france than it was over here i picked up the cordially um great water which soothes and moisturizes it is for sensitive skin but i didn't really take any notice of that i was just so hot i didn't really care i just wanted something that would like cool me down a bit sadly i didn't have a fridge in the room otherwise i would put it in the fridge um, I sprayed this on and I was like dousing myself with the stuff. Um, it's really lovely, really refreshing. It says it hydrates your skin up to 125%. Now, that's a pretty bold statement. Um, and it was only tested on 12 volunteers. So I'm not sure if you can get like an exact reading or, you know, thought on that. Um, but it doesn't have any like parabens. It's preservative free, fragrance free and it just refreshes the moisturizers really so if you're going anywhere hot i would definitely like get something like this or one of just like you can get like a smaller can just to spray water keep it in your fridge and just spray yourself when you get in because oh, it just makes a world of difference last but not least i bought the cordially te de va oh, i don't know if that's right i hope so fingers crossed um shower gel now I love this scent so much. I have the perfume, I wear it like all the time and I thought, you know what, about time I got the shower gel as well. But it is just heavenly. But it is, um, it's enriched with aloe vera and maintains your body's pH balance or your skin's pH balance. And it's just white musk, neroli and ginger. Now, as somebody that's not really a fan of ginger, I don't smell the ginger in it. It doesn't it doesn't put me off. And, oh, it is just the most gorgeous, fresh scent ever. Now, the upside to going in French pharmacies is they give you, like, loads of samples. So I'll just show you some of the few that I got. In Sephora, they gave me a couple as well. They gave me two of the super supreme body butter sachets i might use these i might not i might just like throw them into my cupboard and they'll never see the light of another day i don't really use body moisturizer that often and that even though it's actually covered in <laughs> cleansing oil 
um, a tiny sample of rosy beige, um, the Touche Claire Le Tente Ecre de Pau? <laughs> I don't know if that's right. Um, just, you know, the YSL foundation, you know the one has been out a while. Um, this isn't my shade, so it'll probably just go in the bin. But it was just nice to get, you know, a sample anyway, if you haven't tried it. And then from the pharmacies, I got a sample of the Premier Cru Cordelay Cream. Tiny little sample there. And like a, a larger sample as well, which is like for deep wrinkles, dark spots, firmness and nutrition. Hopefully I won't suffer the old deep wrinkles just yet, but I will give this a go anyway. And a tiny little um, Vine Expert or Va Expert Broad Spectrum SPF Radiance Day Fluid. Another tiny little sample of that. I've got one Purifier Mask sample, which I've used most of already. I used it when I was away. And Moisturising Cream Mask, a tiny little one of those. And the last one was a Quarterly Vino Source moisture recovery cream which is another little sample i think that's so that's so handy especially if you're going away for like a couple of days or just an overnight stay they're the perfect size sample so that is it from my sephora and french pharmacy haul i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe and if you like the video give me a thumbs up and i will see you soon bye bye